guys, Timon here from Premiere Basics and welcome to another video. Jordi is still on a work vacation, but he'll be back soon. Today we're gonna learn something really awesome. With the new Obi-Wan show that came out a few weeks ago, we thought it might be cool to recreate the lightsaber effect inside Premiere Pro. Start by making a shot of you messing around with a stick or something to reference a lightsaber because this will make the process a lot easier. Now open up Premiere and drag your clip in your timeline. Next, click on the new item icon and select color math, then click OK and make it black. OK, simply drag it above your clip. Now look for the lightning effect in the effect browser and drag it onto the color mat. Then go to opacity and set the blend mode to screen because we need to see our background of course. In your lightning effect, turn all the settings down and change the outside color to white just like the inside color. Then change the width to your desired thickness and boom you've got yourself a lightsaber. Now to animate our lightsaber we're gonna use the transform effect because if you would use the lightning effect itself our lightsaber would kind of freak out. Also this way we can easily add motion blur to our lightsaber. Next we're going to select it and then you'll see a little circle appearing here. Drag it to the right until the end of the lightsaber aligns with the other circle. Then take the end of the lightsaber and align them back again. Now your anchor point is set to the beginning of your lightsaber and this will make it easier to rotate it. First set the opacity of your lightsaber to 50 so you can see both your reference stick and your lightsaber. Navigate to the beginning of your clip and enable the stopwatch icon from the position and the rotation controls. Then we're going to use those controls to align your lightsaber with your sword or stick or whatever. Hold down control to adjust it more precisely. Oh, and make sure to use a reference point to animate your saber too. I'm going to use this black line from the saber as a reference point. This way your animation will look a lot steadier. Move one keyframe to the right and do the same thing. Keep doing this until you're at the end of your clip. Oh, and by the way, quick tip, instead of zooming in and out all the time, use your hand tool shortcut on your keyboard to adjust your image. Then press V on your keyboard to use the selection tool so you can continue animating. Let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, that's done. The last thing we're going to do is animate the length of our lightsaber. For that, go back to your lightning effect and navigate to the beginning of the clip. Enable the stopwatch icon and animate the start point of your lightsaber just like we did before. Frame per frame. Turn the opacity back to 100 and boom. Awesome. Next, we're actually going to make our lightsaber look like a lightsaber. But real quick, before that, we are doing this effect in Premiere Pro right now, but you can actually do this in After Effects too. If you want to learn After Effects, you should definitely check out our beginner class on Skillshare. You can get access to this class, but also to all the other classes available on Skillshare with just a small monthly fee. Also, the first month is for free if you're new, which is really cool. This class is super fun to watch and the reviews are really positive as well. So definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Let's get back to Premiere. Now to make it look like an actual lightsaber, we're going to give it some motion blur. Head over to the transform effect and set the shutter angle to 360. Now duplicate the clip and set the shutter angle to 90. This way we'll create a little more motion blur and keep the natural look of the lightsaber. And this is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. The color. Highlight both your clips, right click and select nest. Then hit enter. To remove the big square that just appeared, set the blend mode back to screen. Okay, now find the tint effect and drop it on your video. Go to the effect properties and change the map Y2 color to your desired lightsaber saber color. Now your lightsaber is looking like a toy saber, so yeah, we're going to give it that nice saber glow. Duplicate your nest two times and then remove the tint from the upper clip, because we want the core of our lightsaber to be white, no matter what color you want. That's already looking better. To finish it off, we're going to add some Gaussian blur to our lightsaber, so apply it to the three clips. We're doing this to spread out the glow of the lightsaber. Set the blurriness of the first one to a hundred, then the second one to 50, and set the third one to 10. Then decrease the opacity of the second nest to blend the glow together. I also added a little spark at the frame where I touched the lightsaber, which is just a stock lid that I found on Storyblocks. They have a really awesome stock library, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. Looks like I'm a real Jedi now. And that's how easy it is to create your own lightsaber in Premiere Pro. Like the video if you learned something new today because you will help the channel grow by doing that. Oh and also let me know your thoughts of the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show, but don't spoil anything in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to check out Skillshare if you want to learn some more editing magic and of course stay creative. Now here on my left and on your right there should be a nice cool video for you to watch so go click on that or else and also subscribe. G goodbye.